Hello Cancers! Welcome to your reading for March of 2024. Let's get a few cards from the tarot and find out what's going on for Cancer, my Cancerians, for March of 2024. So the weekend of February 23rd, 24th, we are having a full moon in Virgo. Uh, it is in an earth sign and that is uh, harmonious with you being a water sign. So this might be a really good weekend for you and a few of my other signs depending on how it aligns. I didn't rhyme on purpose. I'm a poet and I guess I didn't know it. What's going on for my Cancers? So this flew right out of the deck. We've got the Ace of Swords. So I feel like some of you are feeling trapped right now somehow. We've got the Seven of Pentacles, Six of Swords, Seven of Cups. So I feel like... I almost feel like a lot of you are in school or... It might even be your job. You're trying to grow something right now from that Seven of Pentacles that talks about enjoying the fruits of your labor. Maybe you finished school and now you're kind of stuck thinking like, okay, now what? Um, and with that Six of Swords, that's talking about either getting ready for a trip or a move. So maybe that might be what you're trying to move on to and you feel blinded right now, like... You just, you're kind of stuck because maybe you're afraid, like, you're so used to where you are that you're afraid to do something new. And Cancers don't usually like change. They like comfort most of the time. You know, and with that Seven of Cups here that talks about having multiple options, it also could talk about having a lot on your plate. Yeah, with a, you got also the Two of Pentacles that also talks about having a lot on your plate. Multiple options may be confusing you. And this is also the card about burnout and like you're trying to juggle too much. If you can see the image, the people, the person looks like they're juggling. Some of you could be dealing with somebody with Leo placements. We've got the Sun card here. Uh, the Sun card is the card of hope and positivity. So I think it's reminding you, Cancers, that the Sun's gonna come back out. You're kinda, you feel kinda stuck right now, but it's reminding you that things are gonna pick back up. And we've got the Page of Pentacles. So if this is regarding a financial situation, that's giving you the green light to go ahead and move forward. It could be talking about a new job, or it could be talking about a new idea that you had in the workplace, um, or something regarding finances. A new idea regarding jobs, money, career, finances, uh, possibly a business venture, um, a business merger, some type of collaboration with another business is what I'm getting. Now, if you've got a love situation on your mind, I feel like whoever it was that was on your mind, maybe you didn't uh, fully see or like you weren't receptive to it because you were in school, your job was keeping you busy, something had you in your masculine energy on hustle mode, so you weren't receptive and you weren't receiving the messages of, you know, signals maybe this person was trying to put out for you. Uh, could be like a future person that you're not with, somebody that you like, or even your current person. Um, and with the Page of Pentacles, it does give the green light for new beginnings. Um, in love, I would say that it's like a slow, uh, like, it's saying that this situation calls for patience, if that means anything to you. What else do we have for Cancer? We've got the Star card, and we also have the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. So uh, with the Star card, that's that talks about hope, it talks about optimism and futuristic thinking. 
Um, I feel like if this is talking about business, you may have had an idea that is connected to, like, upgrading to newer technology, possibly. Um, like, it's something that's expensive, so you're hesitating because it costs a lot, but at the same time, with how much money it could make you, it's an investment, if that makes any sense. Um, and I think that you fear with that Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, um, I feel like you're a little bit afraid and hesitant to embrace it because you're afraid that it's going to cost you and then not be worth the cost somehow. Um, Love-wise, you know, you're questioning, is it worth it to be this patient? I think it is, um, if that makes any sense in your love life. Like, something's giving me the idea, and especially looking back now on that Seven of Pentacles, something's telling me a main theme for you is your patience and hard work will pay off. We've got the Nine of Wands. I think for a little while, Cancers, you're still going to remain guarded and have your defenses up. We've got the Two of Swords in the upright. Yeah, I think a lot of you are having a... You're at a crossroads right now because you're having a difficult time making a decision. And we've got the Page of Swords in the reverse. So, this is a different storyline, but if you had a person on your mind and if you were questioning, do they watch you on social media? Are they cyber-stalking? You know, are they watching your stuff, you know, like they're not reacting to it, not commenting, but they're watching you. If you suspected that the person is, uh, like, looking at your stuff, it's verifying that they are. And I feel like something's gonna slip where they'll ask you a question about something or say, uh, oh yeah, I saw that you got this, you know, different car or different job or whatever it is and there's no way that they could have known that unless they were like creeping on your stuff or asking people about you i mean if it's publicly posted anybody can look at the stuff you know it's not really totally weird that they're looking but you know if you've had that on your mind and wondered if they're watching your stuff they are but what else about this person for this small handful of this storyline the chariot in reverse, if you're wondering if your ex has moved on for, from you, they haven't. Or whoever this person is that's, like, watching your stuff. And the two of wands in the reverse, I feel like they have regrets with whatever they did or didn't do that caused the rift between you. Well, I guess they should have realized what they had while it was there. And we've got the hermit card. So... I think that uh, with too many options confusing you, Cancer, I feel like a lot of you are going to be going within and going internally and working on yourself and your own little projects that you're doing, like, kind of almost being introverted, or like you're keeping your ideas to yourself until you have made more of a decision, if that makes any sense. Let's pull a few oracle cards for my cancers and see what additional messages we have. What additional messages can we get for my cancers? March of 24. I can't believe it's 2024 already. Like, I know we're, like, far into February. <laughs> but it, it's just so weird how fast the years and the time goes by. Alright, so quite a few of them wanted to fly out. So we have the pathway, directions, purpose, and change. I think a lot of you are going to be on new paths for major change, especially in business ventures. Uh, we have the mirror. I feel like everyone's gotten this in their reading. Uh, other lives, past lives, dimensional lives. Um, and, like, connected to that Hermit card that you got with the tarot, that is totally connected to, like, all things involving inner reflection. I feel like that's a big one for you, Cancer. Uh, then we have the Healing Temple of the Lunar Light. 
life cycles, energy healing, and communication. I think this full moon that's coming up that's in Virgo, that's an earth sign, that's harmonious with uh, you being a cancer, that's a water sign. I do feel like this full moon is going to bring about a lot of revelations and healing. Like, this weekend, coming weekend, February 23rd and 24th, I want to say that uh, you'll have a lot of light bulbs that go off, if that makes sense. And then we have the Isle of Wonders. Revelation. Didn't I just call that? I didn't use that exact word, revelation, but that's pretty much what I said. Revelation, teaching, discovery. Some of you literally could be teachers, and this may involve your situation in the school that you work in, or you might be viewed as a mentor by people close to you in this situation that could be for a small handful of you. Um, and look at this really beautiful, magical-looking picture. It's an island, and I don't know if you can see it, but there's a like these really pretty birds that are radiating light. Uh, something in my head said, you can go anywhere, Cancer. You can go anywhere. And let's see from my other oracle deck what other messages want to come through for Cancer. What other messages can we get for my Cancers? So we have let go of the old. Maybe a situation didn't work out for you and you're afraid to jump into something new because you're afraid it's going to turn out like the last time. You were born to create. Literally, Cancer. <laughs> Literally. A new day dawns. So I think you're fearful, you don't like being taken out of your comfort zone, and rightfully so, change and new beginnings is scary. Um, but I do think that it's going to work out and it's okay to be cautious and take your time with it. And I think the cards are verifying for you that this new endeavor that you've had on your mind, it is going to work out and it's okay to take it slow. Alright, I believe those are the messages that my cancers needed to hear. I hope you have a great rest of your week and a great month of March of 2024. Thank you so much for watching.